Right, Paul Smith, full time here at the Grove, has finished Hellzone Town 5, Yaxley 0. Um, in your pre match programme notes, you said you wanted a big performance like last week. Did you get it? Um, for 25 minutes, we did. Uh, I thought we were, we were stuck in first gear in the first half. Um, it's very difficult. This game I felt was going to be a bit of a difficult one in between two humdingers with Stanford and Elkeston. So uh, it was important we were professional. And I thought we were first half without being um, as effective as we can be or, or should be. Um, a few words at half time and I thought we were much better uh, at the start of the second half. And I thought we had a 25 minute spell where we looked very, very good again. So um, listen, it's a results business key at the moment. And what's crucial is, is those results. Uh, and another clean sheet, you know, I think that's four or, four or five out of the last seven games or something, something along those kind of lines, which is, which is crucial too. Um, so yeah, uh, all in all, a uh, pleasing three points. Were we as good as last week? No. Um, do we need to be better for next week? Yes. And a, a fantastic goal from Greggs again. It's uh, nice to see him bagging the goals in again. He's a fantastic footballer, isn't he? You know, we've missed him all the time he's been out, and um, what, what a time now to have him back. Not fully fit, don't get me wrong, um, but football fit. Uh, two great goals, and he thoroughly deserved them. Uh, great kid I've had for, for a number of years, on and off, and um, he brings bucket loads to this side, and it makes a huge difference to us. Uh, so, yeah, long may that continue. And um, as, as you mentioned before, you've got players now coming back from injuries. How important is that going to be for this long stretch to the end of the season now? Yeah, crucial. Selections are tough now and that's what you want. It's, it's, it's great to have this group. They're, um, they're very, very tight now. Uh, we've had issues previously, but this group's brilliant. They're all pulling in the same direction. And If you get that, then you're on to a winner. Uh, we've got that in bucket loads at the moment. Um, so yeah, we've got some real tough selection headaches going forward. And we have just recently, Jack Holmes has been sat on the bench for five games. Games for, for one, Toby Scott came in, had two real good games for us and he's found himself out the side. So, um, you know, there's some selection headaches, but as long as they all keep looking at the, the bigger picture and, and the Nats just trying to get, get promoted, um, then, then, then we'll go OK. Last week you mentioned you weren't looking uh, ahead, two games ahead. Um, we've now got the, the one game in the middle out of the way and now we look to Ilkeston away from home on Saturday. Without putting too much pressure on it, it's a big game for the fans who are going to be travelling down in their numbers. What does that mean to you for the fans to travel down? It's brilliant. I think we're on six six coaches now. You know, you'd suggest there's only five or six hundred of us there, which is which is unbelievable. And I, I just want to try and try and put the rally cry out there. Really, those that, that, that came to the Barnet games and the Halifax games and the Maidenhead games. We, we need that kind of atmosphere here. You know, it's it's too. Top, top sides playing against each other. We've played them twice already and it's 1-1 at the moment. We beat them in the FA Cup, they beat us here narrowly in the, in the league. So um, I, I expect it to be a real, real top game uh, and as many Yelts fans we can get there as possible will really help us and, and hopefully, like I say, like you said, we're, we're going to travel in numbers and we're going to give it everything. You know, we're, we're trying our hardest and it's a, it's a great tussle at the moment between us two. It looks like the, 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 the two sides are sort of stretched a little bit, um, chased down being the next closest one to us. So it's a, it's a real tussle and it's a big game. That said, um, the league won't be won and lost next week. You know, there's still going to be another 14 games after that one. So uh, it's important that we, we we don't build it up too much. Um, it's a game. We know it's a big game. We know how much it means to everybody. Um, and I'm, I'm confident if we go and play well, and that's the important thing. We've got to play well. Ilkeston are a tremendous side. If we play well, we're good enough to get results. Um, anything lower than our best, and we run the risk of getting beat against a very good side. So we know what uh, we know what's at stake. Um, we thrive generally on big games. We're all looking forward to it. What's important now is Tuesday and Thursday, um, getting ourselves prepared, getting ourselves ready, um, and, and make sure we're, we're, we're right at it on Saturday. And the two training sessions this week, is it important to make sure that your players are still quite relaxed in terms of going into a big game, or do you want to fire them up and get them going? No, I don't. I don't games like this one coming you don't need firing up key you know these these boys we've got here have, have been in the game long enough at, 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 at this kind of level and levels higher and, and played in a lot of big games so you know it's um, it, it, what's important is to keep a lid on it if anything uh, to make sure that we we do things properly to make sure we don't um, we don't do too much to make sure that we we prepare right we've been and watch today so we need to go through all that um, and like I say it, it's, a, it's a week to look forward to key that's why we're all in, in this to play in the big games to manage the big games so we're just all excited. We can't come into it in much better form, and nor can they. So it's set up to be a, 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 a brilliant, uh, a brilliant game. So yeah, looking forward to it, mate. Um, fingers crossed, COVID steers, steers clear of us, and we uh, when we get a full squad down there. Perfect. Thank you very much, Paul. Another three points. See you next week. Good man. Take care.